which will never turn its back on Jew hatred. With the help of the absolutely good people of America, and with the help of Almighty God, the scourge of anti-Semitism and Jew hatred and Israel bashing will be minimized and defeated. I have confidence that will happen. Thank you so much for being here with us. Another round of applause, Mort Klein. Thank you so much, Mort. And a quick round of applause for New York Police Department. Thank you so much. Before I bring up our next speaker, I want to give a quick shout out to Councilman Kalman Yeager, who's here with us today. Councilman, thank you for being here. So we, we live in very contentious political times, as uh, you probably haven't noticed by now. It's growing more and more difficult to have people come together to speak about issues when they are from different sides of the political aisle. Disagreements usually ensue, and I hope that you're noticing that that is not the case at today's rally. The group of people who brought you this rally are from different political beliefs, men and women. Jews and non-Jews standing here together to say anti-Semitism has no place in America. So at this time, I'd like to bring up Deneen Borelli. And let me tell you a little bit about Deneen. She's the former manager of media relations with the Congress of Racial Equality and a senior fellow of Project 21, a network of black conservatives organized by the National Center of Public Policy Research. Deneen is one of many people who felt strongly that she wanted to add her voice to today's plea to stop attacking Jews in New York City and around the country. Please welcome Blaze TV host, Fox News and Fox Business Program contributor, contributor Deneen Borelli. that were mentioned I'm no longer a part of so full disclosure I don't want to get sued I guess you're thinking she's not a Jew uh, what is she doing here well I am an American American, Roman Catholic, black, conservative, female. <laughs> to make it even shorter, I am the left's worst nightmare. <laughs> but friends, I am standing here with you today to support my Jewish brothers and sisters. <laughs> to call attention to the rise of anti-Semitism. <laughs> Jews are under attack. Around the world, Jews are under attack, but especially right here in New York City. And sadly, anti-Semitism is on the rise. Shockingly, anti-Semitism is the new normal. It's outrageous. It has to stop. And I'm here to say there is no tolerance for anti-Semitism. Period. We're here today because the media, elected officials, and community activists are failing Jews. And I am here to call them out. You see, Jews that are threatened violently 
and attacked for absolutely no reason should be national front page news. But it's not national front page news. A Jew gets attacked, oh well, ho-hum, give me the sports section. Let me bring this stat to your attention from June of this year, and I quote, According to a recent report by the New York Police Department, the city has seen an 82% increase in anti-Semitism and hate crimes, which make up more than half of all hate crimes. And it continues. Most of the violent incidents are attacks on Orthodox, Orthodox Jews by African American men, end quote. Here's some more information for you from the Washington Examiner, September 2019, and I quote, police department statistics regarding hate crimes, perpetrators in 2018 show a 55% of suspects were black. 55%. Percent. Those numbers are staggering. There is a lot of noise back here. Thank you. I'm sorry to do that, but it's very distracting. Most of the violence incidents against Jews in New York City are by black men, and that is a downright disgrace. But think about this. It would be front page news if a white person assaults or attacks a black person. Talk about a double standard. Blacks attacking Jews doesn't fit the media's narrative. It just doesn't. It's called selective outrage. And when it comes to attacks on Jews, it's not the fake news media, but it's the silent media. Yes. Yes. And let's talk about our elected officials. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is in denial. He says, and I quote, the I ideological movement that is anti-Semitic is the right-wing movement, end quote. Yo, Bill de Blasio, I'm thinking blacks aren't necessarily part of the right to the magnitude that you are imagining. Although they should be because of the conservative policies that benefit all Americans. But I digress. And speaking of politicians, let's talk about our U.S. House of Representatives. Elected members of Congress that are anti-Semites. Representative Ilhan Omar. Israel has hypnotized the world. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Israel's supporters have an allegiance to a foreign country. And in response to 9-11, some people did something. And Omar, by the way, is still on all of her House committees. And here's another piece of work. Representative Rashida Tlaib. Tlaib twists history of Israel and meets with organizations that encourage violence against Israel. The Washington Free Beacon recently reported, and I quote, Tlaib met with a pro-Palestinian organization that has encouraged violence against Israel, justified the use of terrorism against the Jewish state, and has called for the kidnapping of Israeli soldiers, end quote. Hey, hey. Tlaib believes the state of Israel 
should be dismantled and has no right to exist. Together, Omar and Talib joined forces and introduced a resolution for the anti-Semitic boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement to punish Israel. And any time they get criticized, Omar and Talib, because of their religion or their skin color, it's racist, anti-woman, right, well, President Trump, a staunch supporter of Israel. I said a staunch supporter of Israel has called out Talib and Omar. But somehow he is the bad guy. Go figure. And then there's House Speaker in name only, Nancy Pelosi. Proven over and over again, she cannot control these women or her house members. Pelosi calls.